Dawson, Lucy, Ravenscroft. And Dawson's disgust is at the stray New Zealand hand and he gets his penalty. And Dawson just won't give up, will he? So much fight in him. Greening, there's no scrum half, so Sims. You see the way he cut the ball there, didn't throw the pass, so England should be able to recycle and go. Ben Clark driven back. But just like in Dunedin, the England forwards inspiring a strong finish. But unlike Dunedin, the whole England performance has played with a lot more balance and ambition, and that's made it easier for the forwards. 23 points the difference and just for a moment it looks as if England won't be able to cut the deficit as they give away a rather needless free kick Perry his enthusiasm burning through all the time Matt Perry Roundtree Gamely off the floor, Lucy, Vindiri, Tanu has a juggle but still got it, and he gives it to Lucy, now Lucy head down and go, Wilson lined him up and came in off the wing, Dipro didn't knock it on, no he did said the referee, he's at number nine, lost a five, down, well the man accused of the knock on is Dawson, get up, he's at, just in danger of spilling over, get down of it, it's been a physical test match. Lucy, head down straight for the line. What a tackle by Wilson. It's a good black ball. White player number nine, lost it forward. What a tackle. Lucy going for the line. Wilson, perfect technique. Sides it into a missile of a hit. We saw the knock back from Diprose and then in came Dawson. And then it was a knock on. The crashing first. Wait, guys, come on, give us space. Give us space. But there's a lot more now for Clive Woodward and John Mitchell, Mitchell to work with in a positive way. And with Cape Town to come in a week, that's vital, short-term and long-term. And we are seeing people asking questions and really being positive. Though. Matthew Perry has been very good counter-attacking. And Ben Clark, once again, I think, has reopened the debate about his presence as an international rugby player. And the likes of Lucy coming on leaps and bounds in this environment. And Baxendall has answered a lot of questions. Perry. Caught by Spencer. Dawson. Clark. Lucy. Ravenscroft. Stimpson. Lucy. Seems to be popping up everywhere, the number 10. But he mustn't kick these balls away, it's dangerous. Cullen just gathers pace so quickly, doesn't he? Immediately into his stride, Cullen. Vindiri waits, but the ball won't come to him. Has to go looking for it after Ralph is tackled. Cromfell. Great stuff now. Both sides just slugging it out. Dow. Tanu. Mertens, oh, in comes Ralph, and Caleb Ralph lines up Perry, doesn't make the tackle, and the captain is there, Randall, to round it off. Tough on England. 38-10. Soon to be 40, England don't deserve to suffer like that. But this is lovely vision. Caleb Ralph with all the pace. Merton saw the gap. Perry for once misses his man. Back to Mill there, but it's easy for Randall. Great running lines from the number eight. That's a natural footballer in support. That's the first we've really seen of Caleb Ralph. But England don't deserve to lose by 30 points. But New Zealand, well, they can score from anywhere. That's why they're such dangerous opponents.
It is 40. 